you guys today is the day i am I, well i'm about to be inside the studio for the first time and share with the producer my music and i feel so nervous right now like i have the butterflies but they're like good nerves like good butterflies you know like i'm just really excited so I will let you guys know how it goes though. I'm super, super excited. I'm just ready to make this album and do my thing and share my music with y'all. So hopefully all goes well, you know? Hopefully. Peyton is somewhere. He's supposed to be here any minute and then we're gonna go in. So pray for me y'all. Hey you guys, so last time I talked to you, it was what day was that when we went? Oh, it's five days. It was almost five days ago. Four days ago now. So what would that be? Wednesday. Yes. So last yes. I talked to you, it was Wednesday. I was meeting up with a producer. I was super nervous. But there was nothing to be nervous about oh, because it, it went so good, you yeah. guys. And I actually have my first um, recording session tomorrow. I'm sorry I didn't fill you guys in on that like right away. Like you're kind of getting a delayed reaction. But I was <laughs> so excited, was I not? Oh, yeah. I've been so excited. I've been so ready. Like last night I wrote another song. Y'all, I'm so excited for you guys just to hear what I can do, my music. Yeah, her creative space, just all up in here. Yeah, so I'm very excited. Um, and you guys will see some of that tomorrow. I'll try to vlog. Uh, but yeah, everything's just so exciting, you guys. Like such a good time right now. Yeah, um, even though yeah covid and stuff like 2020 is a shit year yeah <laughs> um but no we're making things happen for ourselves this is something i've always wanted to do and i'm gonna be very serious about it so um i've kind of filled everybody on in on snapchat i've been using snapchat as like a vlog, vlog. but um yeah so if you don't have me on snapchat add me it's uh my username is kayla meringue yeah but what was i gonna say i was gonna give you another update oh I'm gonna start to like make a website here soon too. So if you guys um, would follow me, I'll like, once I have that information up, I'll make sure to give that to you. Um, but there's gonna be a ton of music updates on there. Um, also, I'm going to be setting up a photo shoot here pretty soon. So that's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. And then another thing I wanted to keep guys posted with is like, I'm eventually gonna make like a SoundCloud, Spotify, um, also mm -hmm. another, a separate YouTube for my music which once i have the information for all of that i will make sure to get it to you guys um but yeah lots of updates you guys um but yeah right now let's be up to date and current but right now um what we're doing is we're about ready to go into 7-eleven get us some slurpees because it is hot so hot yeah. is it 90 i don't even Do you know you think let's see it's, it's like overcast, but it's so hot, you guys. 86. Yeah, 86 degrees. So, yeah, we're going to cool down with a Slurpee. And then we're going to go to Target because it is one of my best friend's birthdays tonight. And then after that, we're going to come home. I'm going to work on some of my music some more. Then tomorrow is my recording session. Y'all, yeah. I'm so excited. So, yeah. Just wanted to keep y'all up to date. Sorry if this vlog is kind of all over the place. That's kind of been our life, has it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this vlog will just kind of be random and like shit, you know? But it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Okay, so we'll see y'all soon. Sure. Let's go get this slurpee. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. No, oh, no, 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 not that one. Not this one? This one? This one? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should we get like a big one? Can we get a big one? Do you want a big one? Yeah. The big one. Okay. What one are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, we're all over the place. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's like liquidy. Push it all the way, because you're only getting liquid. 
put it to the top. Exactly what we need in our life. Yeah, they slap. <laughs> We're at Target, as you can see. I love Target, and this place actually like did they ever like fully shut down? I don't think you so. Know? Love us some Target. Target. Okay, so we're here for a gift. We're here for some eyelashes, and then is that it? I think so. frame and then go print out a picture for her. Um, got her this candle that smells really nummy and uh, I gotta get her something else. I don't know though. I don't know what. I do not know what yet. Peyton just ran to go get some allergy me medicine because he's been dying. Those are cute frames. Those are kind of expensive. Father Day, and it's Father's Day. <laughs> but we got our dads a Father's Day gift, so we're not gonna show you guys that because they watch our vlogs. So we'll wait on that. I got, you know, the essentials, some deodorant. Yep. So it'll be stank. Stank yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and then I got my friend this Georgia peach candle. It smells so good. I can't. love the smell of it. Allergies. Yeah, you can't smell. Um, Why don't you show them what I got? Yeah, how are you? I got the knockoff Zyrtec. He was trying to spend forty dollars for Zyrtec, and I was like, "You can get the generic brand. Like, we ain't bougie out here like that." Wait, speaking of, I'm gonna take it right now because I can't. Yeah. For real. Okay, and then I got myself some Fourth of July socks. Like Peyton said. Fourth of July is our favorite holiday. Um, so yeah, I got these cute little socks. And then, back to my friend's gift, I got her this cute little bag, which we need to put her gift in. So I'm gonna just hand you this stuff, okay? It says, to my amazing friend, happy birthday. We gotta write in that. And oh, we have to still go to Walgreens to print out a picture. Yeah, because I got her this picture frame. You already saw that. And then I got her this um, cute little room spray. It smells really good. 
this one's sea salt, dry wood and sea salt. And then I got us one too because it smells really good. And this one is wild hibiscus sangria. It smells delicious. So again, I can't smell. So I can't back up that truth. Okay, let me just plop. What? Plop. Okay. And then and then I got myself a Sonia Kashuk um, powder brush because today when I was putting on um, my powder, my brush like literally broke in my hand. So I needed one of these. And along with that, I'm trying this um, CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. I'm super excited for it. Um, yeah, I need to find a new drugstore powder. So if you guys have any ones that you guys use, comment down below what is a good drugstore powder to use to like set your makeup and whatnot so i got that and then i got some eyelashes i'm gonna wear these ones tomorrow they didn't take that thing off oh they did i'm surprised it didn't beat when we went out but Do um no they don't need to i can still get get them oh. yeah <laughs> I, um, I got these eyeliners these are just the cheap like wet and wild ones um, I use the brown one just to kind of like touch up, touch up my eyebrows. I haven't done this trick in a while, so I'm actually really excited that I got this because I, when I ran out, I just never rebought a new one, and it really does change your eyebrow game. I think for my eyebrows at least. So I got that, and then I just got a black one for whenever I want to do like the under eye like tight line. Um, so this will actually last me so long, the black one, because I don't ever really do the eyeliner okay. under. Yeah. Oh, and then I got my friend this cute little bar of soap, sweet mimosa. So, is that a good gift? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good gift. We just have to go print out a picture for her. Okay, y'all, so um, we are heading to um, Walgreens to print out a picture real quick for that picture frame, and then we're going to head to her house. Also, we, what? Yeah, to drop it off, to drop the gift off. Um, also... We, what was I say? Uh -huh. Oh, I was going to share with you a crazy story that happened to me last year um, at Walgreens. We hate going oh, to Walgreens yeah. <laughs> to print off pictures, but it's like the only place that's like legit around here that you can print out pictures and be like out the door. Because if you go to Walmart, you have to wait like forever, forever. in their um, camera, uh, like Dang. kiosks suck. Shut down right now too. Like they suck. Oh, is it shut down too? Yeah. So is Walgreens gonna be? I don't know. Well, Walmart's kiosk sucks. Like every time we go there to print off pictures, we always have a problem. So what it sucks saw, because Walgreens is the best place, but we had a really bad experience there. And let me tell you. So Kayla went there to print off pictures. As know, I as, usually would. Yeah. Because for those of you that don't know, I love pictures. Like I love memories. So I like I'm always taking pictures on my phone and on my camera and whatnot and so every couple months i go to get pictures printed off so that we have like i like the handheld like old school pictures like i don't want to just <laughs> well that's kind of what it is you know people don't really like if you get a like if you want pictures you usually put them on a disc or something or like hard drive you know but like i like the old school handheld like you have a photograph in your hand kind yeah. of thing so i would do that on the regular so go ahead so yeah we went or she went to go print off like because she would go like every couple months and print off like that month or that like, season i guess you'd say mm -hmm. of pictures oh and mind you too i would also get the discs as well like i'd print off pictures and then i'd also get like the rest of the pictures that i didn't actually print i'd put them on discs so yeah <clears throat> and because you know we're together she had maybe some pictures that we wouldn't want everyone else to see that were on her phone. Yeah. And you, you go ahead. Which, usually before I would head to Walgreens, like I would delete those pictures off my phone anyways, you know, because he already had them and I was like, there's no need for me to like keep those on my phone, you know? So usually I would go through and delete them. But I happened to, which I actually think I did go through and I deleted what I thought was all of them. Well, 
this one particular day, I was at their kiosk printing off my pictures, putting them on discs and whatnot, and I was having troubles with the kiosk, which is weird because, like I said, Walgreens has, like, the best kiosk for pictures. So I was having troubles with the kiosk, and I was like, I need help. Like, I don't know what buttons to push, you know? Like, I don't know why this isn't working. So I called this guy over who was working, guy, and I was like, hey, like, I'm having troubles with your system. Could you please help me? And he was like, sure. And when he comes to help me, there's like the screen pops up with a tiny, like a ton of the tiny little squares of pictures that you have on your phone, you know? And I, my eyes automatically went to this picture that I had on there that I had, hadn't actually deleted, which I thought I did. So it was a little bit risque. And but there were also like a ton of other little pictures on the screen. So when he was with me, he was helping me. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope he didn't see that. Like I didn't say anything about it, but I was like, oh my God, this is embarrassing. Like I hope he's just like looking at all the other pictures like that he doesn't notice, you know, that there's that picture in that corner because it was such a quick transaction when he helped me. Well, I finished printing off my pictures and everything, like everything goes normal. I tell Peyton about that when I get home. I was like, I'm kind of a little bit embarrassed because I noticed like we had one of those pictures on there and I needed help and I don't know if the guy saw it or not, yada, yada, yada. Well, the next day I had, I had to go back to uh, pick up my discs of the pictures because I had like thousands of pictures on my phone. So I needed like three discs. And they're like, yeah, it's going to be ready tomorrow. And so I was like, oh, perfect, whatever. Well, then I went to go pick them up. And I picked up my discs or whatever, my discs of pictures. And I get home and I notice on the receipt, it says you have, like, I was supposed to have three discs. It said three discs that I paid for. And I only had two. And I was like, someone has my disc of pictures. And so I had called the um walgreens and i wasn't freaking out at this point i was just like that's kind of weird like why don't i have like th this other disc you know and then i call and they're like i talked to this guy the guy that was looking me up and down i've seen him in there a couple times like i could describe like i know his voice so i knew this was the person that i talked to and i asked him i said um i was supposed to get three discs and i only came home with two like you guys only put two in the bag and he was like okay let me go check like he was just kind of acting weird on the phone and then he gets back on the phone he's like yeah i have your disc right here like i'm holding it in my hands so go ahead and pick it up like sometime tomorrow and i was like oh, okay perfect well then me and peyton ended up running errands later that day and so i was like hey like they said they had my disc instead of us picking it up tomorrow let's just swing by the walgreens and pick my disc up right now and he was like sure we go to the Walgreens and they are literally telling me that there's no disc. Like they don't have a disc whatsoever of and my that pictures. Guy wasn't there either. And that guy wasn't there. And I was like, okay, well I talked to so and so. I know it was him because I know his voice. And he told me he had my disc in his hand when I called. Like I could pick it up tomorrow. So you guys have my disc. And they were like Wait, hey, I think they're closed. Are they? I think everyone just left. Oh, so we do have to go to Walmart, or Walmart. Okay, so just go to Walmart right now. Um, so, um, so I was like, yeah, you guys have my disc because I called and he said he had it in his hands. So go look again, but you all have it. And then I started thinking like, oh my gosh, like they saw the pictures on there and maybe he's some weirdo and was like, I'm gonna like go do my thing to those pictures. Like I'm gonna use those to be inappropriate and whatnot and i was like that's so disgusting i started thinking the worst and so the lady's like calm down calm down miss like i'll go back and look and like she's like she came back and she's like i don't know what to tell you like we literally have no disc here like no other disc for you to pick up and i was like literally i talked to this guy like he had it in his hands here and he told me to pick it up tomorrow so i don't know if he like went home with it was gonna bring it right back but he has my pictures and she was like okay are you sure you talked to so and so and i was like i know i talked to so and so because i know his voice and yada 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 and she's she like many times too. yeah yeah and she was like okay let me go look and sure enough she pulled out 
pulled up the call when I called Walgreens and she said she turned to her coworker and she's like, she did in fact talk to so and so. Like she's not wrong about that. Like she did talk to him. And I was like, so he has my pictures. Y'all need to call him and tell him to get my disc back. Like I don't he obviously took it home with him, was trying to bring it back to sometime tomorrow, making me think nothing of it. But I'm here today to pick up these pictures. So and I have stuff on there that nobody else needs to be seeing. I was so mad. The situation makes me so mad still to this day because that's disgusting. Like you don't do that. That's an invasion of privacy. And like granted I probably shouldn't have had that on my phone but like usually I would delete that and that's none of nobody's business. Like so sorry i'm getting kind of heated but <laughs> it's frustrating and so yeah there was like this whole investigation on it and he like denied it and denied it he said that he never talked to me or like was it that i think he said he never talked to me he didn't ever take my pictures he doesn't know what happened to the disc and like the co the lady i talked to she was like no this is like fishy like this is weird i'm sorry like they apologize up and down but i was like that's disgusting so that's why me and him kind of like went on this walgreens strike yeah where we like just refused to go to walgreens um which speaking of walgreens is actually closed so we have to go to walmart but luckily like we're only printing one picture so hopefully yeah, open. we're in and out kiosk, right? really it's a little short story for you about the time walgreens. i encountered a pervert that worked for walgreens yeah. Mm -hmm. If you guys have anything scandalous on your phone, make sure before you go and print off pictures that you delete <laughs> all that stuff and be safe about it because there are weirdos out there. Yeah. And yeah. Lord knows. Like I still don't have that disc. I know. Like I had pictures of my family on there. I had it wasn't even just that. Like that's just such an invasion of privacy. Yeah. So my little brothers and sisters. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go to my friends now to drop off this gift, so we will see you soon. Hey you guys, so it is the next day. Um, we had a good night um, seeing our friend Anna for a second. Yeah, now it is Sunday and we are headed to the gas station to pick up some snacks um, for the studio. We already stopped and got some coffee. Um, and yeah, after we pick up some snacks, we're gonna be on our way. So, super exciting, you guys. I like literally cannot wait. So, um, but yeah, today my voice is like very tired, but I'm just gonna push through it. I don't even care. It's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna do some vocal exercises here in a minute um but yeah so we will see you guys when we are there show me what you're all about show me